Felipe Toledo, wave number two in this title match. Razor sharp on the first carve. Don't pump off the bottom, throws it out there, stomps it into the flats, stands up. Rich, talk to me about endurance and fatigue, because uh, this was, uh, Ethan surfed 13 waves, right? This is only Felipe Toledo's fourth wave ridden with Toledo. Again, lots of control on the rail of the sharp eye. Throws it up, puts it down, spins it around, and he's got more. Skips that section, but power, full slash. A completely different story here in match number two. Wave stop to kick it off. Veneris Felipe Toledo in motion. So cool on that wrapping cutback. How connected he is. Such a sharp blade on that wrapping cutback. No mistakes through that carving work. Looks like he's feeling a crease on his board. Throwing the wrap in the pocket is Toledo. Oh. One of the fastest guys on the planet is going to shut this one down again. Ah, and there it is. Popped letting up. out the roar, looking at his family on the beach. His wife's there, saw his dad. I think every Toledo came from Ubatuba. And it looks like he's going to be crowned world champion again. In back-to-back -back seasons, Felipe Toledo is your world champion. World number one. Completing his year from start to finish. Lights out in the first heat with Ethan Ewing, turning in some of the best performance surfing we've seen all year, and just such a well-deserved champion in back-to-back -back years. This is the era of Felipe Toledo. The title stays in Brazil, and hats off to Ethan Ewing against all odds just to be here. Turns in his best year to date. So impressed, man. So impressed. Felipe Toledo, he's phenomenal. He's so sharp, so good. He deserves this. Um, you know, he he's been on point all year, and you know, when it, under the brightest lights, that's when he shines, and it's incredible. Um, Ethan, on the other hand, you know, he, last year was a bit sad that he didn't get to perform, and then this year, this today, he's just taken himself to a whole new level. He's um, the surfing that he's done. You know, to come back from injury where we didn't even think he was going to surf uh, and then put on the performance of his career is so awesome. Felipe Toledo entering a really special class of legends. Now a two-time world champ, doing it in back-to-back -back seasons. And it's crazy how quickly you can play catch-up. Now, you know, one more and he's tied with Medina yeah. and Mick Fanning and Andy Irons and Tom Curran. He's just right there. It's uh, really impressed how quickly he put himself among those big names. Well, we knew it was going to happen, right? We never thought he was just going to be a one-hit wonder. Felipe was always going to get multiple world titles. Um, you know, when you look at where the finals are here at Lowers, it, it, there's, a, there's probably not a wave more suited to a, a surfer uh, on the planet. It, this is just tailor-made for his style of surfing. And, uh, well, he's really, you know, thrown down the gauntlet. Who's going to beat him now? I suppose it was probably really significant for Toledo this year, Mick, that John John Florence and Gabriel Medina served complete years, you know, especially compared to last season. Now it's like, hey, without a shadow of a doubt, you had the world champions there from start to finish, and you went back to back again. Yeah, that's that's such a huge confidence booster. Uh, you know, the, there's always that chat room. You never want to believe into it or read into it, but it's always there. Uh, and now he's done it. He's there's no asterisks. There's no oh, okay. This guy wasn't here. This guy wasn't there. He wasn't feared or whatever. Um, he did it with everyone on tour, and he was incredible. The undisputed world champion Felipe Toledo in his home in San Clemente, originally from Ubatuba, Sao Paulo, Brazil, made the move a long time ago and being able to win now on his home break in back-to-back -back years.
did not get caught up in the emotion of it, really. Oh, this is this so, There's so much that goes on behind the scenes, and like only the family or the inner circle knows. And then to see it all come together and see all that emotion come out, like people will just think, oh, it's just today. It's a year. It's 18 months. It's two years. It's 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 a build up, and uh, yeah. So to see all that emotion, and uh, it's so cool to see them strong enough to just let it go. As his little son Koa with the big embrace, we saw Felipe let out a roar, his daughter Mahina. He always talks about them, and when he does, he gets choked up. He can't help it. Anytime you bring up his family in a post-season interview, he just loses air. That's who, uh, who he does this for. Uh, I know there's people out there that don't like it, but, you know, for what we've seen today, you know, how informed everyone was was just like that's what you want to see that's what you want to see in sport that's why you watch grand finals that's why you watch super bowls yeah. because you want to see the best against the best on the biggest day we didn't always get that over the years you know just based on seeding you know the top seeds sometimes could avoid each other for an entire season and now they're forced to deal with each other and that pressure can be uncomfortable we saw that the first year with Maybe some surfers underperforming because they never felt pressure like that. Mm -hmm. Your mate Parco said he's thankful he never had to surf in this format because of that pressure. That just is really clear. It comes to the screen. Y y every fan talks about how the day goes like in two seconds. It's fast. It's fast. You know, the, the people that have never been here and, and um, competed in this or even just been here, watch it. They come in from their heats and just went, wow, it just happened so fast. And it's like... Yeah, exactly. So I, I sort of throw out to all the other athletes that are, are there waiting to come in and jump into this top five, get here, be a part of it and see what happens because one day you're going to be on this stage and it happens so fast. You don't have time to think. You just got to act. Special moment for the Toledo's Mateos there. Abrazo, big embrace. Ricardo behind him. As we'll now send it down to talk about the world title with AJ McCord. That's right, Felipe Toledo taking the long route here on the chair, but the entire crowd rooting for him as he's coming up. Felipe, walk me through. You are the back to back WSL world champ. What did it take to get it done? Oh, it's so hard to put into words like what did it take to, for me to be here right now? Um, so much sacrifice, a lot of sacrifice to be honest, you know, um, seven years ago I had my first kid, I wasn't home to watch, to watch, um, to, to be there with, with my wife, to be there with Mahina on the first time, and I was, neither I was there with for Cola as well, so um, I knew in the long run this was going to pay off, and uh, this is this is a dream. This is a dream come true. I don't think there's ever been a Brazilian that won back to back. So uh, we love we love to make history. So I'm super thankful to God that you know He blessed me all the way here through the year. It was not easy. It was never easy. It was never easy. But um, with God's strength and faith, I was able to pull it off and make it on the long long run all the way through the year. And then. Ended up winning back to back. Um, couldn't do it without my team. Um, I know it's it's a huge 77 team, but um, I love you guys, all my family, my wife, my kids, my mom, dad, my brothers, uh, my sister. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much. Thanks to Pinga, to Mike Regan. Um, yeah, you guys are so special, and uh, yeah, it's best time ever to hang out with my family right now, celebrate, have a few beers, and. Enjoy. I want to talk about the heat specifically. How did all of the hours, all of the waves that you put in here at Lower Trestles pay off to win that second title heat? Um, yeah, well, I mean, I noticed that the title's coming in. Uh, it, was, it, was, it was filling up, so I knew it was going to be a little slower. Hey, buddy. <laughs> here comes his son. Uh, I knew it was going to be a little slower, you know. I mean, I've been serving here every day um, for the last 10 years, so. Um, I know I know how it works really good and I knew it was gonna take a little while and then we were fighting for for the inside spot at the first I don't know 20 minutes of the heat and then I was just like I'm, I'm gonna get going I'm gonna get moving because I knew he was eaten he was only gonna win if he had like this the big waves the sat waves 
and I knew that was going to take too long. I was just like, I'll, I'll go with my strategy. It's going to work. Always with a lot of confidence. So, yeah, it worked it out. Let's go. <laughs> I would say it worked out. Para o Brasil, uh, você é bicampeão do mundo. Como você tornou esse momento possível? Quer falar? Está feliz? Ah. Ask me, are you happy? Eu estou muito feliz. Cara, eu queria primeiramente agradecer a Deus, agradecer a minha família, agradecer meu time, é, meu time 77. Muito obrigado. Sem vocês eu não conseguiria. E o Papai do Céu é maravilhoso. Ele é, honrou com as suas promessas. Foi muito difícil chegar até aqui hoje e estar tá positivo e estar confiante, tive muitos pensamentos ruins, né, em questão de segurança e de se eu ia conseguir né, ganhar de novo e Deus me honrou, então eu estou muito feliz e é isso, Papai do Céu é maravilhoso, acredito, tamo junto. Parabéns e congratulations, Felipe Toledo, the 2023 Men's WSL World Champ. Congratulations to Felipe Toledo going in back-to-back -back seasons, officially the first Brazilian to do so as he is on top of the world. Let's celebrate this moment for Toledo and prepare for the 805 post show. We'll be bringing in Kaipo, Pete Mel, and Rosie Hodge to talk about a special day. Thanks to Mick and Richie Lovett. We'll see you on the 805 post show. The world champion in all his glory. I'm born to win. It is Felipe's day. I'm just really enjoying it. Woo! Fire flying off the rail right there. Your 2023 Hurley Pro Champion, Tully Toledo. A special time to have my family here. You know I did this for them. The defending world champ, he's really got something to prove to the judges this year. When I really need to go big, we're going to go big. <laughs> Let's go. Are you kidding me? Kick the alley you Bango! Our El Salvador Pro champ, Felipe Toledo. He just let out the lions roar. That was insane. The champion of the Corona Open, Jay Bay, now for the third time of his career. Felipe literally is going to be so difficult to beat this year. Gone back to back. Felipe Toledo is your 2023 World Surf League champion.